The U.S. has test launched an advanced ICBM. While such sessions are regularly carried out, some believe this could be a message to North Korea as the regime condemned the Seoul Washington joint drills and raised tensions on the peninsula. Yoon Jung-min provides a deeper analysis. U.S. Air Force Global Strike Command says it launched on Wednesday an unarmed Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missile from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The missile, equipped with a test re-entry vehicle, hit the surface of the water well over 6,000 kilometers downrange near Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands. The U.S. Air Force said the test verified the accuracy and reliability of the ICBM weapon system and ensures America's ability to maintain a strong, credible nuclear deterrent and to guarantee the security of its allies. The launch required a month of preparation, and the U.S. says it was not a response or reaction to world events or regional tensions, but the prompt announcement is getting attention, with tensions rising on the Korean peninsula as North Korea protests Seoul and Washington's summertime military drills. I think the recent ICBM test by the United States uh, has uh, the intention of demonstrating uh, the commitment uh, to extended deterrence to protect uh, U.S. allies in the Asia-Pacific region, uh, in particular South Korea and Japan, against possible nuclear threats uh, uh, by North Korea, but also threats from China. Slamming the allies' joint exercises, Kim Yo-jong, the sister of the North Korean leader, insisted in her recent statement that the U.S. continues to increase its military threats against the regime and said North Korea will reinforce its defenses and preemptive strike capabilities. The test launch by the U.S. could possibly send a message to the regime, which has been insinuating the possibility of armed protest. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.